Hello everybody, Wedge here. Uh, last night stayed up by Roan Mountain Shelter. There was probably about 40 college kids from University of Maryland up there. And a bunch of just overnighters. So there was no room in the shelter, um, which is fine. I mean, I carry a tent, so it's no big deal. Um, just a lot of people. So we uh, we kind of camped ourselves out on the edge of the camping area, which is nice because nobody's really out there. Uh, I'm not really going to push myself today, being it's only about 15 and a half miles, and we have a hard stop there. I'm just going to take my time and enjoy the day, uh, get down this mountain which is most of the day is downhill. So it's so it's gonna be a little bit easier for me because I do really well in the downhills and the flats. And I'm starting to get a lot better at the uphills yesterday. Um, I'd say the last mile and a half uh, and about 1500 feet elevation was just mind blowing. I, I have a lot of video of it, so you'll see, or you already saw because this is gonna end up after. So what you saw previously is what I really enjoyed. Had a great time coming up uh, Roan Mountain yesterday. Hopefully I'll have a great time going down Roe Mountain today. So this wedge heading north. Plays on. There's a welcome to North Carolina sign. Even though we've been here for quite some time, we're just shooting up the border between North Carolina and Tennessee. But I do believe today is my last day in North Carolina. So I think pine forests and balds are my favorite thing on this trail so far. Just, they're very calming. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Another ball on top of that mountain, so it looks like we're heading that way. Watch head north, plays on. There it is, the infamous Over Mountain Shelter. And they're trying to tear it down, and people are trying to save it and get it back on the register. But it's still standing right now. I hope it stays up. Hump Mountain, and we're going to Big Hump Mountain. We're going to Big Hump Mountain, which is that one I just showed you. There's a weird two story about how they got their name. You are never gonna guess. <laughs> Roderick. All right, moving forward. Welp, looks like I'm about to climb this.
camera is not really doing this climb justice. Uh, it's a mile up to the top of this mountain on a trail just like this. This is a real pain in the ass. It's all right. That's why I'm here for the views. But somebody should really let somebody know. People that want to do this, how much uphill it is. Wow, it's a hundred. I made it to the top of Hump Mountain. This isn't a hump, this is a mountain. Oh, wow. That was an ass kicker. But I made it. It's all downhill from here. I'm heading to uh, Mountain Harbor in four and a half miles, I think it is. And luckily for me, it's all downhill. So I'm on my way. That was, that was uh, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. That's okay. Still not as tough as some of the stuff in the SMOBs. It was just a warmer than normal day. And very exposed. So, onward. If you're watching this video for research for your through hike attempt next year, my best advice would be buy a Stairmaster, put on a 35 pound pack, and then walk up the Stairmaster eight to 10 hours a day. Nobody ever really explains that in, uh, in their videos. I gotta tell you, it is all uphill all day. And Georgia's the easy state so far. Like really easy compared to everything else we've been going through. So uh, that stair stepper, walk up it for eight to ten hours a day with a heavy pack on. Amazing. This is what I'm looking at. just completed all of North Carolina. Thank you very much. You're an amazing state, but you are one heavy pain in the ass. But I will be forever grateful. <laughs> okay, I thought I was just walking up into a bear. Um, not a bear. Damn you wood creatures. Yeah. Tell me if you weren't paying attention, you would have thought that was a bear too. Anyway, nothing to see here. A completely different note. I have to go change my shorts. Just kidding. Actually, I'm not that afraid of bears, but seriously. Look at that. Two states down, 12 more to go. Wedge is still heading north. Still have no plans of stopping either, so. Lays on.
Well, made it to Mountain Harbor. Uh, 16 plus miles. We didn't get on the road until probably 8.30, so 16 miles in about eight hours. So 4.30 right now, so not too bad. Let me just figure out where to go. Here at Mountain Harbor, I've got a couple of packages, so I'm uh, gonna make my first shot at uh, doing an unboxing video. So, there it goes. Uh, every time I get a box, Cindy and the boys leave little notes in here, little encouraging notes to show their support. It really helps me along the trail. Uh, I realized that I, I like a sleep, a sit pad, so I try to get away with it without using it, but I couldn't do it, so I got a sit pad. My son, Nate, makes the most delicious chocolate chip cookies that I've ever eaten. He's, uh, he's a 13-year-old boy, he's got a great future in cookie making because I've got a bunch and I cannot wait to, to eat these. Well, it's been about... 400 miles and uh, I need new shoes. My shoes uh, have worn themselves out, so here it is, I got my new shoes. Uh, I've been using an Ursac and have not been a fan of it. So I'm just gonna go back to the old uh, PCT type hang and I'm going to a bear bag, an actual good old fashioned bear bag. And besides that, I've got all my snacks and coffees for the next day. And then, for breakfast, I've got nuts and grits and also, oh, there's another night. Goodbye, North Carolina. Yeah, today was the last day I was in North Carolina. I'm officially in Tennessee. So I'm officially done with two states. And then... Everybody's coming to visit me, and I cannot wait. I can't wait to see my boys. I can't wait to see my wife. Uh, I've been missing everybody, so I'm really looking forward to it. This one's one of my favorites. It's the veggie chili. Uh, she does an outstanding job at it. Um, it's definitely one of my uh, favorites on a cold night. It really does a great job. We've got, let's see what else we have. Oh, the egg roll ramen. Fantastic. It's so good. Uh, she made a video on how she made it, and uh, I'll make a video about me eating it and receiving it. Oatmeal and cranberry with macadamia, one of my favorites on trail. Absolutely love it. Fills me full of energy. And oatmeal's bananas and walnuts, another great one. Really gets me going in the mornings. And then, one of my favorites... Oreo cheesecake with cookie bits. Definitely delicious. All you have to do is add cold water to it, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then bam, amazing dessert on trail. Another thing she sends me is a bottle of olive oil. I made the mistake the first time she sent me one of these that I used half of it in the first meal. So I have to ration it a little bit more and uh, just do a little bit better with that, but I figured it out, so here we go. Full bottle of olive oil. Hey everybody, it's Wedge. Uh, closing out for the day. Um, we're at Mountain Harbor. We did 16.2 miles. Uh, we made it down from the Roan Highland Shelter. Um, we're now relaxing at the uh, Mountain Harbor Hostel and b and I've got Lost and Found here. Say hi to you grandkids, Lost and Found. Hello grandkids, and we deserve a rest. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> deserve a rest. So... Say goodnight to the kitties. <laughs> See you, kids. See you, Landry. See you, Denver. See you, Witten. Is that's that it. all of them? Okay. That's all of them. We got them all. Okay. <laughs> Hudson, Nate, I love you. I'll talk to you in a bit.